friends! Today, we're gonna be covering not one, but two brand new Paragons. The modded Spike Factory, the spewer of chaos, reigns of spike and terror, which has cost over 1.1 million dollars. And we also have the Monkey Village Paragon, the house of Monkeynomics, the true hub of Monkeynomics, grants massive buffs to towers all across the map, summons village defenders that shoot lightning at the balloons, dealing massive damage. Ability weakens all balloons on screen causing them to take massive damage. These two paragons teamed up together is gonna be absolutely devastating. All right, let's get this party started. Can this guy, can he put any spikes down there? I don't think he can put here. If I get long reach, can he put spikes right there now? Does he? He never put spikes. There he goes. He put one one thing of spikes over there right now. So I want to try to get this guy upgraded because I want to start trying to get that spike factory paragon up and running. I'm going to kind of cross path this because it doesn't really matter when you're getting the paragon upgrades if one of the towers is cross path. So right at the start, I'm going to get a little some a little cross path here. Let's also get faster production. We're just this thing's going to be a beast. This thing is gonna just annihilate all balloons. I'm really excited because we're slowly getting all of the paragons back. Uh, like all the modern paragons, we're getting new ones created, old ones are being brought back, and soon, I would love to have a time where there is literally every single paragon in the game, all accessible. Right now, we're just missing a magic monkey. So we're missing one, two, three, four paragons four that's it so that's 18 paragons that's a lot of paragons we have i definitely want to go over i'll probably film a video sometime soon so you keep your eye out for it where i put down all primary military and support paragons in one video so we're doing all right right now so let's start getting some banana farms because 1.1 million dollars is really expensive guys how many times could you buy Balloons Tower Defense with one million dollars. Let's let's do the math. All right, Balloons Tower Defense costs thirteen dollars and ninety nine cents on Steam right now. This Paragon costs one point one eight eight five four one one eight eight five four zero divided by thirteen ninety nine. You can buy Balloons Tower Defense. 80 go back wait 84,000 basically 85,000 times you can buy 85,000 copies of balloons tower defense 6 with a million dollars if I I need long life spikes now because I think if I get long life spikes I'm pretty sure that they yeah they won't go but they're still just as powerful as the spike balls upgrade so like yeah nothing's gonna get past these guys literally nothing I'd really like to see a paragon added to every tower officially by Ninja Kiwi at some point in the, you know, in Balloons TD6, right? Like, I think that would be wonderful to be able to see that. And they're, they're slowly coming out with them, right? But this is a thought that I had, is that the Monkey Village, this Paragon, is not possible to get in Chimps. The reason you can't get a Monkey Village Paragon in Chimps is because the bottom one absorbs all nearby banana farms and you need a banana farm placed down in order to get it and you can't put banana farms down in chimps. So therefore you would not be able to get a monkey village paragon in chimps. So now we can start working on really get some money. Yeah, look at this, ah oh, yeah. Moab didn't stand a chance. So I'm gonna put this spike factory down over here. This will be our perma spike. We can just have this guy all the way down. Uh, wait, what am I doing? Why am I upgrading this? Because I want to skip a bunch of rounds and I'm afraid I'll lose. Let's see. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, there's our one banana central. Uh, okay, I need to get a perma spike, I think. <laughs> just in just in case, you know. Just in case something, something crazy happens here. Alright, there we go. We have enough money now to start really saving up trying to get that. So there's that first one. We can put this guy over here. We can go ahead and get super mines. I'm not gonna upgrade this all the way yet. I'll upgrade that to the spike storm and that will be our paragon that we upgrade. But like spike storm, it's just really annoying. It just it just constantly sprays out spikes. There we go. We're already at 800,000, 900,000, 100 million bajillion dollars. And now we can upgrade it to the spewer of chaos, everybody. Wait, let's actually, I'm gonna skip some more rounds. 
The reason being is I'd like to get a little bit more money because I want to get a couple super mines because I would really like to get uh, this to be a high degree paragon, like in the, the 50s or 60s, you know? Let's get the first paragon, the spewer of chaos. I'm actually so ready for this in three, two, one, upgrade. Let's see what we get here. Oh my gosh, 46 degree, not bad. It puts out, holy cow, that's so many. It also has an ability. Does it just do what I think it's gonna do? Yeah. It just spews out those spikes all over the place. Let's go. That's what we like to see. And he's just kind of destroy. Oh, my gosh. This guy spews out spikes. We're on round 84, and nothing's even getting over to this side. And then you can just do this. And these are look like they're small. They look like norm they're normal spikes, but they are most certainly not normal spikes by any means. They may appear to be that, but don't let, don't be fooled. Now what I'm excited about is let's start trying to get this village upgraded, right? Where should we put the village? I guess it doesn't matter because it did say it was global, right? I want to see what it, I'm going to put it over here though, because I think it says it puts out the village defenders, whatever that means. So we're going to get some village defenders. I need to get a banana farm down so I can upgrade this into monkey opalypse. And now we can upgrade this into the house of Monkeynomics, the true hub of Monkeynomics. So let's let's see what this does. So, boom. And wait, what? Oh my gosh, he puts out little bananas. He's like, you know what? I, oh my gosh, he's literally, this guy's insane. Look how powerful he is. That is nasty. And this does literally have global range. So he kind of puts it all over the place. All right, that's reasonable and not broken in any way, shape, or form. So this guy, oh my gosh, he literally has two of them out. They're just destroying everything. So we can use this ability for attack speed. What does this ability do? So that's the ability that just weakens all balloons. And man, does that have a long cooldown. That must be like, that has to be a three minute cooldown. Three, it, the village defender already has 300,000 pops. The banana guys turned into the own attack tower. Literally nothing can even get past the village right now. This is definitely worth it. This is like an offense slash support tower. But mainly, wait, do the bananas never disappear? Does he just keep adding them down? No way, right? They have to have a lifespan. It's like pew pew. I think they just, there's, there is no way. There is no way that it just, keeps adding village defenders non-stop like infinitely i refuse to believe it's that broken i refuse okay i'm starting to believe it's that broken it has two million pops it's literally overshadowing this guy completely that's kind of crazy I, i'm gonna sell this guy i want to put it i'm gonna put this guy over here because i would i want these oh they're still exploding over there because they keep adding bananas and they apparently it boosts all the other towers like a lot, right? So what if we put Look, wait, what? This is a normal tax shooter getting tons. Wait, what? How strong does it make this tower? This tower I it Yeah, that's what I have to say about this and every tower is boosted this much. How is that balanced? Look at all this. I can't even let's see I don't like, look at how many pops the Darling Gunner is getting. He's up to 10,000 pops already. Okay, let's get a couple of towers down here. Now, let's jump up to like a crazy number. Let's try round 180. And let's see how these towers can deal with it. I mean, this, this spike factory is still kind of dealing with it. 5 million pops. Drew's doing very well. Sniper Monkey's doing great. Darling Gunner's doing great. This might be it. I exploded everything. Use my abilities. Attack! Oh no. I ain't losing yet. And they still have to get past all of these in the end, which has 20 million pops. So this tower has 20 million pops as well, but this is already caught up as 30 million pops. I think we're starting to really see that the spike factory here is starting to seriously come in clutch now. And it's scaling into the, the late game is absolutely Amazing. Look at another fortified BAD. All right, let's go out with a bang, everybody. Let's jump to round 300. If you've enjoyed, hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Oh, no, it's over.
I don't see any way that we get out of this one. I just used the village buff. 800 million pops on this Paragon. Can we hit 100 million before the game's over? Can we hit 100 million pops? Come on, ability. Get the ability. I got the ability off in time. Are we still? No way. It got 113 million pops, but that was it, everyone. That's what it ended, but still. 14 million pops is not a bad way to go out. I hope you enjoyed.